What's up guys, Shane Sars here with Droid Modder X with the Nexus devices just having hit the FCC today. We know that the Selfish and Marlin are on the way soon. Google has actually developed an all new Nexus launcher that may be featured on these devices, but you can use it now thanks to the leaked APK. I'm gonna show you guys how to download and install this on your device. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we have the Nexus launcher and you're going to notice a few differences right off the bat. First of all, that static Google search bar is no longer present. Instead, you're greeted with the Google search button. So in order to launch Google now on this version of the Nexus launcher, you would hit the search button and then hit the G again. That's going to launch Google now. To access your app drawer, you're going to swipe up and you will notice that there's a little bit of transparency in the app drawer, which I really kind of like that. And then here, all of your applications are in alphabetical order, so they're super easy to find. If there's one that you need to find really quick, you can just search for it there. And then also you'll have uh, your latest used applications, so your most recently used applications up there in the top. You'll also notice a difference in your folders. So here we have one of the Nexus Launcher folders and you kind of get a peek as to what's inside of the folder itself. You can kind of see the applications inside there. To me, I kind of like the way it looks. It looks pretty clean. Not everyone's a fan of that, uh, but I actually like the new app folders. Of course, you do have your date widget right there at the top and everything seems to be really nice and fluid. So there are two ways that you can install this on your device. The first method for anybody that's rooted will be the easiest method and it's also said to include the option to swipe Google Now from the right. I don't have it here but apparently whenever you install the Nexus Launcher through recovery that Google Now swipe from the left to the right is still there because it's installing it to uh, your system but for whatever reason I don't have that with this so the way you would do that is head to the link in the description and grab the launcher.zip file and then you're going to go ahead and boot into team win recovery project from team win recovery project you'll click install and then you'll just find the leaked nexus launcher zip go ahead and select that and then swipe to flash then you'll reboot the phone and once you have rebooted your device you will be greeted with the option to choose either your phone stock launcher or the Nexus launcher. So if your device is not rooted or you don't have custom recovery installed, no worries. There's still a method for installing the Nexus launcher to your device. You're going to go to the link in the description. Go ahead and grab the Nexus launcher APK and then also grab the wallpaper picker APK. I'll have a link to both of those files in the description below. You'll head to your download folder and grab each of those. Here I've got the Nexus launcher APK. Go into your settings, make sure unknown sources is checked. Go ahead and install that. Once that's installed, you'll go back and make sure to make sure to install this wallpaper picker. If for some reason you don't install this and then you try to change the wallpaper uh, or even add a widget to the screen, you're going to make the whole UI crash. So we'll go ahead and install this. Check unknown sources and install. Okay, so we're done there. We should be able to head back to our home screen and we have the Nexus launcher. So anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this quick and easy guide to installing the Nexus launcher on any device. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.